The Ranger. Death from afar is their purpose. A master of the bow and range combat, more than happy to stand back and let others get their hands dirty. For any of those who want to wield a bow and arrow, rain fire from above, or sit in camouflage and ambush their prey, this is the archetype for you. Ashes of Creation has a pretty unique take on classes. While the core ranger archetype is similar to what you might imagine when it comes to a traditional ranger in a fantasy RPG, what makes up a true class in Ashes of Creation is the combination of the primary archetype and the secondary archetype coming together, which will be unlocked as you progress further in the game. This gives players 8 potential options for each class, and for the Ranger, you have the Bow Saner, which is the Ranger with a Bard, the Falconer, which is a Ranger with a Summoner, the Hawkeye, which is a Ranger Primary and Ranger Secondary, the Scion, which is a Ranger Mage, the Scout, which is a Ranger Rogue, the Sentinel, which is a Ranger Tank, the Soulbow, which is a Ranger Cleric, and the Strider, which is a Ranger Fighter. The way this system works is that the primary archetype is chosen upon character creation like in any other MMO. Once the decision is made, you are locked into that choice and cannot change it unless you create a new character. The secondary archetype is unlocked through player progression around level 25. This secondary archetype augments the primary by changing the types of abilities, their appearance, and their interaction with targets, but does not provide any additional skills to the archetype kit. It's all about the augment, which will allow you to explore different playstyles within the holy trinity of heals, tank, and DPS while still being a ranger at its core. Maybe you want to drop a few heals with a ranged attack, or take on a more direct melee approach when you close in on your enemies. Augment will allow you to customize your playstyle to do so. Keep in mind that everything we know about the ranger and the other archetypes is work in progress. Ashes of Creation is in an alpha state, and anything and everything could change as they continue to react to player feedback. Most of your abilities will be unlocked through careful selection of the skill tree. You won't have a hundred different abilities already in your spellbook to place on your bars. Intrepid wants you to make careful selections within the trees to cater to your playstyle that will have you make sacrifices as you take one ability over another. As you progress, you will unlock skill points, and although they aren't yet implemented as intended, skill points will eventually reward players on every fraction of a level instead of once per level, which is normally what you find with skill points in any other MMO. You can then place these points into your tree to gain access to those new abilities or upgrade existing ones that you have already specced into. Looking on the skill tree now, obviously it's a work in progress for a level cap being 35. And with it being an alpha, everything you see could change. And you will see abilities come and go through the testing. Some abilities you see on screen may even be absent at Alpha 2's official launch if Intrepid finds they don't fit in with that class design. As a ranger, your command over the battlefield blends agility, precision, and nature's mind. Each ability in your arsenal is crafted to outwit, outmaneuver, and overpower your enemies with finesse. Airstrike is your signature move for both offensive and mobility. With a powerful leap forward into the air, you fire three projectiles in a line along your path. Each projectile deals area damage and roots any target hit for three seconds with nature-based magic. Barrage is your go-to for relentless damage. For 1.5 seconds, you unleash a continuous stream of arrows at your target, dealing 12% physical damage. You can also set strategic traps with Bear Trap, which you place at a target location. After a brief delay, the trap will arm itself, and when an enemy triggers it, they will suffer damage and become rooted for 2 seconds, halting their advances and giving you a tactical advantage. As a ranger, you could activate Call of the Wild to shed all movement impairing effects and gain 20% increase in movement speed for 8 seconds. This will be a crucial PvP ability that allows you to bypass snares and roots, giving you the freedom to reposition yourself and escape with ease. With camouflage, you blend into your surroundings, making yourself harder to see and avoiding direct targeting. The farther you are from an enemy, the more difficult you are to spot. However, this stealth is broken by outgoing combat actions and incoming damage, requiring you to choose your movements wisely. In tight situations, you could use disengage to deliver a swift kick followed by a backflip. This maneuver sends you retreating while snaring any enemy's hit for 4 seconds, keeping them at bay while you regain your footing. Headshot allows you to deliver a devastating blow, dealing 175% physical damage to your target. This powerful attack is ideal for taking down enemies with a single well-placed shot. Hunt for the Bear invokes the Spirit of the Bear, enhancing your physical mitigation. This boon makes you more resilient against damage, bolstering your own defenses in the heat of the battle. Alternatively, you could call upon Hunt of the Raven, which calls forth the Spirit of the Raven, imbuing yourself with increased physical penetration. 
For increased critical damage, Hunt of the Tiger channels the Spirit of the Tiger, granting you a 10% bonus to your crits. This ability could be crucial when gaining that extra hand, dealing just enough damage to take out your foes. With Imbued Arrow Barbed, you coat your arrow with barbed thorns, inflicting the bleeding status effect on enemies. Each hit applies 3 seconds of bleeding damage over time, with a maximum duration of 30 seconds. Imbue Ammo Concussive imbues your ammo with concussive force. Enemies hit by your bow attack suffer 10 stacks of stacks staggered status effect, increasing trip duration when applied, and lowering their accuracy and evasion stats per stack. Imbued Ammo Weighted imbues your ammunition with weight. Enemies hit by your bow attacks suffer the snared status effect, reducing their movement speed by 50%. Each application applies 3 seconds of duration to the target, up to the maximum of 12 seconds. Lightning Reload allows you to fire one ability shot for free, bypassing cooldowns and other costs. This ability ensures that you can continue your assault without interruption. Mark your foes with Mark the Bear to reduce their mitigation by 25%, making them more susceptible to all forms of damage. This mark enhances the effectiveness of your subsequent attacks. Mark of the Raven calls marked enemies to take bonus damage with each hit. The lower their health, the greater the damage, making it a lethal option for finishing off your weakened targets. Mark of the Tiger increases your critical chance against marked targets by 50%, ensuring that your critical hits are more frequent and impactful. For piercing through enemies, Enemy lines. When you need to cover an area with damage, Raining Death releases a dense rain of arrows 20 meters ahead, dealing significant damage to all enemies caught with the downpour. The further the targets are from you, the more damage they sustain. Scattershot unleashes a spread of projectiles in a 20 meter cone in front of you, dealing physical damage to every enemy within this range. This wide area attack is ideal for clearing groups of enemies. Snipe is your high impact ability, charging for 3 seconds to unleash a powerful ranged attack that deals 300% physical damage. This is a charged shot and is designed to deliver a massive blow to your target. Thundering Shot sends a lightning infused projectile towards your target, dealing 200% of your physical power as lightning damage. This electrifying attack combines the power of physical and elemental damage for a potent strike. Combat wise, while there was once a minimal safe distance required for shooting arrows, this is no longer the case. You can now fire arrows at any distance, although some abilities may be more effective from afar. While Ashes of Creation doesn't have weapon restrictions tied to classes, and a ranger could technically wield a sword, a shield, or a dagger, certain abilities require a bow equipped to function. When equipped and you cast one of these abilities, it will automatically switch weapons for you if the bow isn't in your hand at the time, and you will be able to equip a ranged weapon such as a bow alongside a sword and switch between the two. Ashes of Creation's ranger is shaping up nicely, even in its alpha state, as it offers a mix of new abilities and familiar ones. As we progress towards alpha 2, the ranger may become one of those more desired archetypes if it continues down the path it's on now.